Less than a week after Green Senator Scott Ludlam's shock resignation, the party's Queensland representative, Larissa Waters, has also been forced to quit. State political reporter Josh Babis was there for the shock announcement. Josh, how could this happen? Well, Louisa, the Greens MP never even considered this career-ending disaster a possibility, but then began uh, making inquiries after the dual citizenship crisis of her colleague last week. Now, having been born in Canada, she made those inquiries only to discover she was in fact still a dual citizen. Her grave oversight was not renouncing her allegiance to Canada before standing to... Canada's most reluctant citizen called the SNAP media conference, bearing news she wished wasn't true. I just want to apologise to um, my party and to all of the wonderful Queenslanders that I've been so proud to represent in the last six years. This teary goodbye was not how Larissa Waters thought it would end. And I will uh, sadly have to resign, uh, both as the Deputy Leader of the Greens and as the Senator for Queensland. Following Scott Ludlam's own dual citizenship revelations, Larissa Waters, who was born in Canada and moved to Australia as a baby, had lawyers check her citizenship on the weekend. It's pretty weird that someone that's born in a country and leaves as a baby and has never been back to Australian parents turns out they have citizenship of that country. So I hope that people will understand that this was an honest mistake. In the six years since being elected, Queensland's only Green Senator has led the charge against Indian mining giant Adani and was one of the leaders behind the push to decriminalise abortion. And just earlier this year, she gained worldwide attention when her baby was the first breastfed in federal parliament. She isn't ruling out a comeback. As far as I'm concerned, I would welcome her back to the parliament with open arms. Greens convener and second on the Senate ticket, Andrew Bartlett, will likely take her place. The former Democrat stepped aside from the party's leadership in 2003 after an alcohol fueled altercation on the Senate floor. Following party infighting and Scott Ludlam's resignation, Richard Di Natale says he hopes Larissa Waters is the last of his politicians to have to bow out. It's been a terrible month. It's just been terrible. I mean, there's no other way of um, of sugarcoating it. Larissa Waters takes full responsibility for the oversight, saying she leaves no blame with the party for failing to help her identify the legalities before taking office. I should have checked. Um, it was my job to check. Commentators say this will send tremors through the party and the electorate. It feeds into the anti-politician extremist populist vote, so it may well play into politicians' hands like One Nation and play against the Greens. It's not known if Mr Ludlam and Ms Waters will have to repay their salaries worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. Josh Bavis, ABC News, Brisbane.